for it. How to do a roundhouse cutback, which, as you guess, means waiting for the section to have enough space to turn your board all the way back to the whitewater. So one of the most common mistakes that somebody learning to turn makes is they try to do turns right here where the wave is steep. Yes, you can do turns right here, but if you want to learn how to do a roundhouse cutback, you're going to have to pass these sections up, continue to gain speed, not counter rotate your upper body and your lower body. You want the whole body to work in sync, and then you're going to launch out onto the shoulder with all that speed and turn the board back to the white water. All the way back, compressing as you enter the white water to swing you back around. This wave doesn't have much left after it. So just end smoothly. All right, here we go. Take off. The wave adds a little bit of a hollow section here. I don't quite get tubed. Keeping that butt low pushing down and through little slight pumps just to keep adjusting my line in the middle of the wave to build as much speed as possible, not overturning, not burning my speed, gaining more speed, pushing through out onto the shoulder, shifting back to the back foot, hands in line with feet, compressing before I get to the white water, making sure I go all the way back to the white water, not stopping the turn early. Finishing off the ride. All right, different one here from a different day. Little variation on it. No paddle takeoff. Again, didn't turn right there. Waited for the shoulder to perform the roundhouse cutback. For those not doing cutbacks, you can note the wave judgment right here. I'm perfectly comfortable with the wave rising up. I'm right underneath the lip, one paddle, two paddle, I'm in it. Legs over the tail, chest up high, feet hit, hands come off. Push down through the board, high line again. I need all this space. See the space on the shoulder? It's a perfectly tapered wave. Hands are going to match the feet, driving the rail back. This is a two-part maneuver where you basically get a front side turn with a backside rebound, also known as a roundhouse wraparound. Okay, so those on the more beginner level, please note that I'm not scared of wiping out on this wave that's rising up. The wind is offshore, it's holding the lip up, the wave is soft, and as long as I keep my legs over the tail there and sink the tail into the back of the wave, I'm going to get up just fine. Push, high line, tall stance, butt goes down to pump, pushing through the feet, then reaching back with my back foot over the tail, holding that rail with my hands like that. Then I'm going to switch to the backside turn, just compress my body, pivot around my back foot. This one is over. Wave, wave was done after that one turn all it had in it okay so in super slow motion pressing down and through with both feet out onto the shoulder then gonna switch all the weight to the back foot keeping the hands in line with the feet head turns eyes look back at the white water go into a further compression as i get to the white water so that that white water doesn't knock me off and it's gonna push me back into the rest of the wave. This is way better than half turns. So if you're gonna waste the wave burning speed doing half turns, you're far better off pumping and doing one full whole turn. The reason why people love this maneuver is because of the spray that it throws off of the board. It gives you that really nice like water ski arc that you see here because the rail is perfectly set in the water, driving the water through the fins. And then again, key that you go into this compression. Also key that you don't burn any speed before you do this maneuver. You need a nice tapering wall, you need a shoulder, and you wanna go all the way back to the white water. 
show these in fast motion again. So pumping, waiting, 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 waiting until I have enough speed and then completing the turn. The next wave is a lot shorter of a wave, but it's the, it's a similar principle. I'm doing the most that I can with as little as wave that has been given to me. Out onto the shoulder, back around, compression, okay? Do it. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe. Love you forever if you like and subscribe. Watch my other videos, that's really cool. If you wanna know more about coaching and all things that I do, just go over to my website. Everything lives there, archives of these videos live there. Get over there.